disappeared until the book of Enoch was rediscovered in the Ethiopian region of Abyssinia in the 1700s. One must be prepared for a journey into forbidden knowledge and chilling revelations with the 2,000-year-old Bible, the Book of Enoch. This highly controversial text has sparked debate for centuries, documenting sensual fallen angels, violent giants, strange cosmology, and world-changing revelations. Despite detailing events from before the birth of Jesus, the book is not included in today's Bible and some scholars do not consider it divinely inspired. However, this book filled with terrifying knowledge was found in Abyssinia, Ethiopia, in 1773 and has been included in the scriptures of the Ethiopian Christian sect. This text is said to contain terrifying knowledge about the human race, including predictions of doom that will send shivers down your spine. What other secrets do these pages hold? Join us as we delve into the 2,000-year-old Bible revealing lost chapter with terrifying knowledge about the human race. The Book of Enoch The Book of Enoch is also called the Ethiopic Book of Enoch's pseudepigraphical work. It is an Old Testament book containing events written long before Jesus was born. The original manuscript of this ancient book disappeared at the end of the 4th century. Later on in 1773, it was rediscovered in Ethiopia. However, the Christian sect in Abyssinia, Ethiopia, have included this book in their scriptures as a reference for their practice. The obsession of heretical Christian groups, such as the Manichaeans with a blend of Iranian, Greek, Chaldean, and Egyptian elements, also aided the survival of this book. Several clerical scholars have disposed of this book, claiming it contains revelations God did not divinely inspire. The ancient book of Enoch was forbidden from the Bible for unveiling profound truths about the world's creation. This book records a list of sensual fallen angels, violent giants, strange cosmological facts, and other mystical revelations yet to be confirmed by Bible scholars. It is believed that the story of Enoch reflects many features of Babylonian mythology. This book by Enoch has also been confirmed to be a compilation of works that are mostly apocalyptical. Who is or was Enoch? Enoch is a biblical figure and the patriarch who preceded the pre-Diluvian or pre-flood period of Noah's Ark and the Great Flood. He was the great-great-great-grandson of Adam, the father of Jared, and the grandfather of Methuselah, the person who lived the longest in the Bible. The text in Genesis chapter 5, verses 21 to 24, reads that Enoch walked with God and was no more, for God took him. This text was later interpreted by Bible scholars who believed Enoch entered heaven alive. According to the record, he was about 365 years old when God took him, as written in Genesis chapter 5, verses 22 to 24. Only he, God, took Enoch and Elijah without experiencing death in the Bible. He worked in faith and righteousness throughout his life and obeyed God's word to the latter. God was amazed by his work of faith and righteousness that he spared him the pain of death. Enoch is a subject and pillar of many Jewish and Christian traditions. He was the author of the Book of Enoch and was also considered the scribe of judgment. Enoch was referenced in the Old Testament in the Book of Genesis and the New Testament in the Gospel of Luke chapter 3 verses 37. Apostle Paul's epistle to the Hebrews chapter 11 verses 5 and Jude chapter 1 verses 14. Amongst the Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox, and the Oriental Orthodox, he was revered as a saint, a personality all Christians should look up to. Some Muslims compare Enoch with Prophet Idris in the Quran. The ministerial journey of Enoch was a forerunner to Noah's mission as a preacher of righteousness and builder of the Ark. The Dead Sea Scrolls This book, written by Enoch, was rediscovered at the Judean cave in 1946 to 1947 by some Bedouin boys caring for their sheep close to the cave. One of the young boys threw a rock into a cliff opening and was surprised to hear a breaking sound. Out of curiosity, 
he and his friends entered the cave and found several big clay jars, seven of which had leather and papyrus scrolls inside. The Judean cave is near the ancient settlement of Qumran. Located on the northwest coast of the Dead Sea, it is currently known as the West Bank. The scrolls were repurchased by antiquity merchants and scholars, who found the text over 2,000 years old. Many other scroll fragments were also discovered in adjoining caverns. A summation of these other scrolls adds up to 800 and 900 texts. This Book of Enoch is further divided into five other books, the Book of Watchers, the Book of Parables, the Astronomical Book, the Dream Visions, and the Epistles of Enoch. These books have a total of 100 chapters. The Book of Enoch is a series of important stories. One part discusses angels, a special tree, Jerusalem, and the universe. But the most interesting part is about fallen angels who did intimate things with human women, and they had giant children called Nephilim. These angels also taught humans advanced stuff, leading to a big flood and destruction. Nephilim means fallen ones. People see them as big guys, like giants. This idea comes from the first book of Enoch, a special Jewish book. But there's a debate. Some think their size is because they're supernatural, while others say it's not right to think angels or demons can have babies with humans. Another idea is that the Nephilim were just regular people who went off the good path. Some say the sons of God were from Seth, a good guy from Adam's family, and the Nephilim were his family who turned away from God.